not completely, but pretty close. Um, enable or sorry, incoming heals, uh, incoming heal capacity. This is how uh, see through your the incoming heals are. I like to keep this enough so I can see it, but it doesn't interfere with the actual uh, bars. Out of range, this um, this makes it so when they go out of range, the bar becomes more see-through, so it's a little easier to tell. Obviously disabled, same thing. Uh, let's see if this is what changes it. Nope. Hmm. Maybe the test bars don't like messing with that. Uh, the aggro bar, you can set up an aggro bar for you. Uh, I will be going over that in a little bit. But if uh, you need it, it's right there. Keep it zero because I don't even have it. Power bar is the same thing. That's a uh, energy, mana, runic power, and rage. If you want to keep that in check, I don't care about that. I usually um, uh, use my built-in WoW frames to look at that. Uh, health bar colors. You can color them by health by class or custom. I choose by class. Let me uh, disable these for a second so you can see my... you can at least see me. So there I am. Uh, if you want to do by health, they're green, it'll change to yellow or red if they're really low. I prefer to go by class just uh, so I can see who's who. Uh, incoming heals. The color, this is a um, your incoming heals what they look like. I prefer future health, but uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter. It's all preference. Icons. Uh, you can show hots on yourself, show debuffs, show ready checks, show raid targets. Um, I actually don't like ra raid targets. Ready checks I like. It's just uh, kind of nice to see. Uh, debuffs. It's situational if I use them or not. So right now I'm using them. Show hots, I like to see those on there. Uh, icon position, you can choose where. Also, if you're using raid targets, you can deselect some and select some. Like if your guild always uses... Uh, I don't know. Always uses star and moon for their main tank and off tank. Um, you can deselect all the others, so they only, only two show up. Icon scale, obviously this is how big they are. Uh, these are my druid options. If you're a paladin, it'll show paladin options, all that good stuff. Um, you can filter certain uh, uh, certain spells out and certain spells in and all that good stuff. Um, actually, yeah, let me see. Okay, yeah, you can select which which icons to use, which uh, not to use, you know, when to use them, you know, never, when it's cast on yourself, always, all that. Um, Alright, that's enough of that. Aggro, this is to show, to, uh, show the aggro. I don't do that because I already said I use Omen. Uh, it'll put it right next to the health. So like right here, here it'll put um, Mm, greater than and less than signs. Like right here. It'll show it just like this. I think you guys will be able to make that out. Um, you can a uh, whole bunch of different stuff like show the text, show it in different ways, um, move the bar, flash the bar. These are different colors like um, yellow would be who has the highest threat. Uh, red, this this middle one would be the tank has threat but isn't actually tanking the boss or he is tanking but he doesn't have threat um, and then obviously this last one is the tank has threat he's working on the boss and he's good uh, you can set how frequently it flashes uh, flash opacity uh, you know how vivid it is you can highlight over mouse over, or you can highlight the target uh, of 
who has aggro, you can change the colors. Like I said, I don't use this, so I might be getting some of this wrong. I've never used it. I find it just one more thing to clutter up your bars with. Um, this is crash protection to uh, in case um, healbot crashes. It will um, save your settings or save where it is. It, I've never used it because I've actually never had healbot crash unless I tried loading it right after a patch and there has been a new update. Um, chat options. You can set it so it notifies when you do pretty much everything, anything with Healbot. You can notify yourself to, um, and it says it in uh, whatever channel you specify right here. You can notify yourself of what you're casting. Don't know really why you would want to do that, just because uh, you're the one casting it, you should know what you're doing. Uh, notify target. That's, um, you know, I think that sends a whisper to them about what you're doing to them. Notify party, obviously, sends it to the party. Notify raid. Um, I don't like to use any of those just because it's really, really annoying. Uh, I hate when people have those add ons that whisper you stuff. Um, you know, like, you're not using this spell, or you're not doing this, or you're not doing that, or blah blah blah. I, I really hate those add-ons. I think they should have been banned a long time ago. Um, um, I do notify on Resurrection, though. It's nice to, um, you know, after a wipe or something, if you're resing people, or after a boss fight and people die. And you're resing some people up. It's nice to say who you're resing so the other healers don't waste their mana on the same target that you're healing. And I actually don't have a message set up. Um, I don't even know what my... Percent T. Okay. So that'll say Moomoo Fire is casting Revive on target whenever I uh, rest someone. Alright, here's bar text, the text on the bar. You can call the text by your class. I prefer to keep it white. You can show class on the bar. I actually just started using this. Uh, it serves really no purpose, especially since I color my bars by class. But it's, I don't know, it's something nice to look at, I guess. Show the name on bar. If you really don't care about who you're healing, uh, just as long as people are getting healed, and you know who the tanks are, use that. I've used it sometimes just because it's nice to get that out of the way. I don't care who I'm healing, I'm just healing someone. It's kind of nice. Um, double text line, that's putting everything in one line or two lines, I prefer uh, two lines just because that way the name stays stationary and the health moves, whereas if you do double text the health will move because the, or sorry, your name will move because the health keeps jiggling back and forth. And also the class you can show is text instead of an icon. Let's see, let's wait for that too. See it says druid colon move fire. Uh, I prefer to icon, I guess. I'm probably just going to disable that one. Show health on bar. Um, if you... I don't know why anyone would have this disabled. Um, it's important to know how much health they have. Going by, just by the bar, uh, since bars scale with how much health you have, having one-fourth of your health gone to someone that has 100k health to someone that has 200k health is quite a big difference. Um, so you need to be able to tell who has the least amount of health so you can heal them. Uh, this includes incoming heals. You can change this to not include it or separate it. I prefer to just include it. Uh, this is how you tell how, they, how you see the health. 
you can just see it as base health <coughs> um, as a percentage, so 100%, or as delta, which means it starts at zero and increases based on how much health you are losing. So like if I were to take uh, a 20,000 damage hit, it would show 20,000 there. Um, I like that one personally, just because health, um, it, it's just easier for me to see it right away. Like I see health, I see these numbers, and I'm like, okay, they have, um, let's say I get hit for 50,000, so I'm down to 50,000 health. I would look at that and be like, oh, okay, he has 50,000 health, I need to heal him. Um, but then if someone else has, it's hard to explain, like if someone else were to have like 30,000 health, I would heal them first. But I don't really know out of what kind of health they have, but it's like Delta, if someone gets hit for 50,000 and another person gets hit for 75,000, it'll show how much they just got hit for, you know, they, they are missing 75,000 health, so... I don't know, it's preference, I just prefer it that way, I think it's easier. Uh, you can change, I'll switch to health to show this part. Uh, you can change how everything looks, you know, base health, um, shortened version, um, one decimal place, two decimal places, um, hmm, doesn't look like these change anything, because, uh, I think I went over this last time and I couldn't figure out what the difference was. Then there's a 3 down here without the little K. Oh, it's a capital K and lowercase K. Gotcha. Uh, I just prefer base health. Uh, text alignment. This is where the text appears. On the left, middle, and right. I like to keep it in the middle. Uh, obviously your font, your font size, um, uh, colors, you know, if it, the bar is enabled, if it's disabled, or if it's uh, if you have a debuff on. You can change all that. Uh, icon text. Um, so, uh, show icon text. You can show the count of the icons, as in the uh, like hots you're placing on your target, or the debuffs. Uh, count is uh, stacks. So if you have a debuff that stacks, you know, 10 times. You can see that, and the duration remaining. Uh, you can choose to have self-cast only for the count, or for the duration. Which I actually should select that. Uh, show duration from however many seconds down. So, you know, if it's a 2 minute debuff, it'll start at 99 seconds or it'll show 15 seconds, or whatever you want. Um, <coughs> uh, how long is this one? 10 seconds. That's the one I want. I'll do 15 just to be safe. Okay. Um, and then duration warning is once it uh, reaches a certain point, the ticker will turn red to warn you that it's about to run out. I like to keep it at 3, because 3 is about enough time for me to notice that it's about to run out and then cast it again if I want to keep it going like a hut. And obviously icon text scale, that's how big it is. Uh, so we are done with the skin. Cure, these are your um, cleansing abilities. Um, you can choose to monitor it or not, I prefer to, I think it's easier. I've tried using Decursive and stuff, and I just don't like that add-on. Um, here's what spell you actually use. Uh, remove Corruption, obviously that's my Druid. Um, let's see. Okay, these are all possible ones that I could have, but I just use Remove Corruption. Um, this is who it checks. Uh, for a cure on. You can ignore the debuffs. Um, I ignore them 
ignore them 